Hello guys and welcome to Revit Keys. Today in this tutorial, I want to talk about the stair connection with the upper floor slab in Revit. And I will talk about the solution to get this nice connection. So how to get this solution? Let's move to our Revit model to see what I am talking about. I go to stair in the circulation panel and I choose the monolithic stair from the type selector. I draw a simple stair with one flight and I hit the finish button. Then I go to level 2 to draw my floor that the stair will reach. In my case, I choose the generic floor 300 mm from the type selector. And I start drawing my slab. I make sure that my boundary limit is aligned to the stair. And when I am done, I hit the finish button from the edit mode panel. Then I go to the section tool and I want to create a simple section that passes through the stair. I click on the head and the section will open. I increase my crop limits and I change the level of detail to fine to show you more details about the elements. So this is the connection between the stair and the floor. It looks very disturbing. So how we can solve this problem? We go to level 2 and what we gonna do is editing the stair and creating a small landing. So I draw a rectangle and it's better to make the width of the landing equal to the width of the step. But it's not wrong to draw a landing smaller or larger than a step. It depends on your case. We draw a rectangle, then we align all the boundary of the landing to our stair. Then we hit the finish button from the edit mode panel. So when we go to the 3D view, we discover the overlapping between the landing and the floor, and also the railing looks bad. So we want to fix those issues by going to level 2 first. So to be more accurate, I hide my railing so I can edit well my floor. And I edit the slab accordingly to the limits of the landing. So we can use the split and the trim command for those lines. And we hit the finish button once we're done. Then we go to our 3D view to check the floor if it is fixed. Oh great, the floor looks good now. Then we move to the second issue, our railing. We use the split command to delete the wrong part. We check the 3D view and the section view and the problem is solved now. And finally, a small reminder guys, you can clean the joint between the landing and the slab by choosing an invisible lines from the line style drop down menu. So I hope that I have solved your issue or your problem now. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.